Hi everyone, in 2022, Autel's 808 line of tools got upgraded to include the digital inspection app, meaning that they are now compatible with Autel's Ball Scope, the Maxi Video or MV108. Today I'll be checking out how it works with the MP808TS and I'll be having a look at both the combustion chamber as well as exhaust and intake valves. I'll also give you my thoughts on the Ball Scope as well. Now let's get this. For full disclosure, I did receive this ball scope as a free sample for a review, but as usual, I'm still going to point out any cons that I find, and it's not going to affect my opinion or review in any way. Inside the pack, we have the main tool itself, as well as the business end of the tool, which features the inspection camera. The camera is 0.3 megapixels and produces a resolution of 640 by 480 pixels. You also have the usual, a magnet, a hook, and a 90 degree view accessory included. The build of the tool is really solid, top notch, and and feels really well constructed however when it comes to these accessories they don't exude that same level of quality they definitely feel like they were made to a lesser quality specification or either added as an afterthought but let's go ahead and get on with the test you just connect the cable to the main unit and secure it with this locking nut and then you go ahead to plug the usb connector to the type a port of your hotel device i've already taken away the spark plug of the number four cylinder in this 2008 toyota corolla you head over to the maxi pro mp808 TS and tap on that. You're able to take a picture or record a video through the digital inspection app. Now let's inspect the combustion chamber and valves and we're going with the MV108. Going into the combustion chamber you can see that the intake valves are open and that's a good thing. We'll come back to this in a bit. One thing I quickly noticed is that the camera needs to be quite close to the target object in order to get the best focus. You can see that there's some build up on top of the piston which are clearly defined here. Video quality is decent. I mean you're not looking for footage from a retina display camera you're able to make use of this if you know what you're looking for switching over to the 90 degree accessory that goes on and then go back into the combustion chamber so that we can view the intake valves and this quickly shows us that the intake valves are open as we said before you can see that there's some build up on the intake valves as well both on the head as well as the fillet also on the combustion face of the valve you can see that the exhaust valves are closed. Some of these spots that you can see on the video are dirt and artifacts. And I should add that I pulled this out and tried to clean off the dirt. While I was doing this, the mirror just fell off, underscoring the comment I made on the lower quality of these accessories. However, this is not a deal breaker. I was able to apply some adhesive and get it rock solid. I just thought to add this feedback for Hotel to look into it. As well as if you get this, do check that this isn't loose on yours before sticking it into your engine. Two cons to consider include that the brightness of the LED for the camera is not adjustable it's just always on and you can't adjust that although I haven't seen any real world disadvantage to this secondly I've already talked about the quality of the accessories for the tip I also noticed that while removing the attached mirror, it's bound to scratch. It would have been better if this was threaded and you could screw this attachment on. That said, none of these are deal breakers. I do think this is a very good addition to the 808 line of tools. Footage quality is more than decent. At the time of making this video, the MV108 was going for around $49, even though you can get it for much cheaper in some scanner bundles. I'll cover this in my next video where I'll be reviewing a new line of tools from Autel. You won't want to miss that. Hope this has been helpful. Catch you on the next one. Peace.